Hey there guys, glad to see you again. To start off, I'd like to thank you for all the engagement and good feedback you gave me on the last few videos that were based around creating revenue streams from coding. Just in case some of you are thinking about either starting or transitioning to a career in programming, I thought it would be useful for you to see my salary progression as a software engineer over the years. So in this video, I will go over all the positions I had starting as an intern in university all the way to a senior software engineer 7 years later, and I'll match them to an hourly and yearly pay you can expect yourselves. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. If you followed the channel, you might know that I went to university for computer science, right after graduating high school, a pretty basic story. Somehow, even though I was not that great at coding, I managed to land an internship at a company from the US during the final year of my bachelor's degree. My role was backend software engineer, and I was supposed to work mainly with the .NET framework, so C Sharp, and some MySQL databases. So I started working there part time while also studying, and that halved my pay, that was already pretty low. Despite this, here I managed to learn a lot about coding in a more professional way, as a job, got the hang of debugging large code bases, as well as working in a team using source control. The experience was much more valuable, but the hourly pay was $5 per hour. That would leave me with about 800 bucks per month. Keep in mind though that this was happening 7 years ago, before the inflation boom. So this money could buy you more stuff back then. But this was just the beginning. I really couldn't fathom what was about to come for me in my next roles. So university ended and this company wanted to keep me on board, luckily. For about 6 months I worked as a full-time intern. Just this switch doubled my pay, since I was working double now, which was quite nice. And then I got promoted to a junior software engineer, and that again about doubled my pay. My revenue was growing exponential, and I couldn't have been happier. As a junior, I got up to about 18 USD per hour, or $2,880 per month. My colleagues were very easy to talk to and ask things when I did not know something. As for the tasks, they were challenging which left me feeling like I am learning a lot. Speaking of learning how to code, an effective resource that makes it fun and engaging is Scrimba. This platform has by far the most hands-on approach I've ever seen on an educational web application. Their technology lets you run and preview your code in real time directly in the browser. Not to mention you have the teacher explaining and writing the code in an editor right in front of you, but you can also modify this code at any point and see how it impacts the actual app. All this, of course, will happen at your own pace, as you can fast forward or move back freely. They got interactive courses on a vast amount of topics, from full-stack web development to AI. It will prepare you to ship code that people will actually use, and that is the most important thing in programming. 80% of their content is completely free, and their projects are regularly updated, so you can rest assured you stay on top of the latest technologies and trends. I highly encourage you to check them out using the first link in the description that will give you 20% off all their pro plans. Getting back to the story, after another 2 years I was still working at the same company. Switching jobs felt too daunting for me because I suffered from imposter syndrome. Basically an interview that I took had a really bad outcome. I did not know the answers to a lot of questions and it discouraged me. That kept me from applying again for a while. Big mistake looking back, I know. But also, after talking to some of my friends that were developers as well, I did not feel underpaid at this company I was working at. Finally, it was about time and I got promoted to a mid software engineer. I was gaining a lot of experience and knowledge regarding the app we were developing, which was normal keeping in mind the time I spent there. At that point I remember being able to implement entire features by myself. My independence skyrocketed and that was huge, especially starting out as an intern that needed help at each step. This last promotion landed me at a 22 USD per hour or 3500 
$500 per month. Things took a turn for the worse during the end of that year when the company decided to let us all go. They wanted to open another tech hub more east on the globe, so to cut costs basically. Now I had to confront my imposter syndrome and start applying to new jobs. I had about 3 months to find me another job as that was my last day with them. Luckily again, I aced an interview at another US company that was more of a startup. I started working remotely for them from the beginning of the next year with a big pay increase. I think I made about $4,300 per month there. What I can say is that startup culture was much different from what I was accustomed to, coming from a large corporation where everyone has very well defined roles and responsibilities. Here I got the role of a full stack developer and also got to learn Angular as part of the front end tasks. Ended up switching jobs after a year and the health because they were overworking us and nobody ever wanted to help because of that. The overall communication was lacking and there was a constant fear in the air. Not to mention the huge stress caused by extremely tight deadlines and hard implementations that were coming to us with no descriptions whatsoever. The next troll I landed is for the company that I am currently working at and is more backend focused, with tasks that are oriented towards finding optimal solutions and further improving the times of execution execution and memory space for what's already written. The pay increase was negligible, about a couple hundred bucks per month, but the awesome part was the sign-on bonus that I received of about 3 salaries. What I find even more important than the money aspect is that here I am way less stressed. I don't think about work in my free time and the people are much nicer. Everybody is willing to help at any point and that goes both ways. With all the money in the world, if at the end of the day you end up being miserable, they don't really count. And I learned that the hard way. From wrapping up with university up to this point, I was able to dodge unemployment pretty well. I always found another company willing to hire me and for a pay increase. Lately though, I am seeing a slightly slower pace of receiving job opportunities on LinkedIn and I'm wondering if it is just me. Or maybe it was just the beginning of the year job freezes that always happen since companies don't have yet a budget set for the upcoming year, as well as the holidays and everybody, including the recruiters, being in PTO. Are you guys currently working in tech? And if so, does your salary progression look anything like mine? Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to get back to you with an answer. Thank you for watching to the end and until next time, happy coding!